Hello once again, that's Jordan from jpcodenphoto.com, Photo School Free. Um, this video today is going to be about night photography. Um, starting off in night photography, just pretty much like any other photography, it's going to take a lot of practice and a lot of time and effort put into it in order to find a groove and, and what you like to do best. But um, this is just a tip of what I like to do best. First of all, when um, I do night photography, the first thing I like to make sure, first of all, um, let me just start off with this. First of all, the camera is going to be have to set to manual, which can only be done in manual. It can't be done in automatic. It's not going to work. But um, I'll guide you through it and make the process a little bit easier. I have my um, camera set on RAW. I always have my camera set on RAW. Um, that's just the way I photograph, and that's not going to change. Um, what you're going to want is you're going to want to have your camera set on manual because you need to manually, obviously, manually set the settings to um, the things that I'm going to describe to you here. First of all, the way I like to do it, I like to have my ISO the lowest possible. Some people like to have it higher, but that's not my that's not my style. I guess if you're I'm going to be taking pictures of the stars and you want the stars to shine pretty bright to have your ISO a little higher might help or even to say um, set your aperture down a little bit but just, this is what I like to do I like to set my ISO the lowest it can go or at least 200 and um, I'll set my my uh, aperture to around like F9 to around like F F9 to F16, and uh, I'll just play with the light because the shutter is what's mainly going to be. That's 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 the main component of uh, night photography is the open long exposure, the, the shutter being open for a long period of time. So the other settings matter, but the shutter is ultimately what matters the most. Um, what I like to do is, like I said, I like to I like to start off at a high, a high, um, or actually I should say, a low, a lower shutter speed that I know might be a little too bright, just because I like to see the way it looks and stuff like that, and then kind of work with it. Like for instance, you may go anywhere in, in, in a dark, low lit night um, situation. You might go anywhere from a shutter speed of, I'll say, four seconds to a shutter speed of. And it's really, it can go on forever, an hour or whatever. There's, there's people that do it for longer than that. But um, that's why, that's when you see the, 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 the pictures of the stars, that the stars are moving. It looks like the stars are moving a little bit. That's that's those hour-long, two-hour-long exposures and, and upwards of that. But um, I, usually, I usually do 30 seconds or whatever. It really depends on the light of the subject. Let's say I'm doing this fence right here, and this fence is lit by the moon maybe coming from this direction over here I can pretty much my, my shutter speed is going to depend on how bright I want the fence to be obviously and then um, also then you have when you when you set your shutter speed that bright you're going to have the brightness in the sky a little bit or whatever and then you can go back into uh, your editing program whatever it may be um, and edit the white balance and stuff like that just stuff to just you know what I mean? You just got to play with it. It's one of them things where I can give you some pointers, but it's going to be the kind of thing where you're going to have to take your DSLR camera. And this is, it is, by the way, this can only be done on a DSLR camera because the functions that you need to use 90% of the time are only on DSLR cameras. They're not really found on a small compact camera. So if you have a small compact camera, this probably is not going to be possible. And I'm sorry to, sorry to tell you. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. You get your DSLR, you... You set it to a low ISO and a medium aperture so you can get a nice kind of clear because you don't want to set it the, the aperture too high to like say 22 or something like that because then unless you're shooting the whole mountain range or something like that then it's really not you know it's not it's not really that functional uh, around like F9 is where I like to set it a lot of times because you can get a good um, depth of field a good wide range of the, the depth in the um, photograph and also pretty bright depending on your shutter speed so yeah that's that's basically that I hope that answers uh, your questions um, let me think if there's anything else
Nope, can't think of anything else. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, that's just it. Just get out there, pick up your camera, take photographs, see what works for you, develop your own style, and shine. Peace out.